Okay, we're um we're we're live again. So you're uh you're you're back with me, Thomas? Uh yeah, you're back with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm not sure. I'm not yeah. sure what, what happened there, but um, uh, yeah. Look, you, you mentioned you've you've got to wrap up uh, shortly anyway. You've, you've got a, a kid to look after, etc. But uh, I, I've got one more thing um, that I, I, I want to put past you. And, and recording and get... from 1997 of Mitten. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, My shitty high school band. <laughs> no. <laughs> your, your 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 mate Steve Shives was uh was was really a um was a spearhead for this you know deplatforming campaign on on the basis that Sargon you know mocked a sexual assault survivor right um I just I've got a couple of a couple of short clips I I, I want to play for you to get your to get your angle on I'll just uh I'll just screen share oh I was right it is a clip from 1997 it's gonna be Steve. <laughs> Uh, this is this is this is Milo Yiannopoulos. Um, oh, there's a, that I don't think should get a platform. Yeah, <laughs> making a statement on this is on the 21st of February 2017. I'm a gay man. Can, can you hear that? Yeah, I can actually okay. see it too. Wow, this is so. This is how you do all your roasting of, of people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and a child abuse victim. Between the ages of 13 and 16. Two men touched me in ways they should not have. One of those men was a priest. My relationship with my abusers is complicated by the fact that at the time, I didn't perceive what was happening as abusive. But I can look back now and see that it was. I still don't view myself as a victim, but clearly I am one. I've reviewed the, the tapes that appeared a few days ago in the proper context, and I don't believe that they say what is being reported. Nonetheless, I do say some things on the tapes that I do not mean and which do not reflect my views. My experiences as a victim led me to believe that I could say almost anything on this subject, no matter how outrageous. But I understand that my usual blend of sassy, gay, British sarcasm, provocation and gallows humor might have come across as flippancy. A lack of care for other victims, or even worse, as seems to have been the case in reports, advocacy. I'm horrified by that impression. Okay, so that was, uh, as I said, that was on the 21st of, uh, of Feb this year. And then um, I just want to play you this, this clip um, by Steve Shives, uh, just to get your, your comments on it. This was, um, this, was, I've been... this was published by Steve Shives the next day. So this is, this is the 22nd of Feb this year. I'll just uh, screen share. Um. I've been joining a lot of people over the last day or so in just basking in the schadenfreude of Milo Yiannopoulos uh, losing his speaking sl slot at CPAC <laughs> and, and taking a great deal of delight in seeing how many other people are pointing out that he was no platformed by CPAC. So I guess the conservative political action committee is part of the regressive left. It must be, right? Because that's what the regressive left does. They're the ones that, that hate free speech and are terrified of free speech. And, and yet CPAC, just no platform, Milo. Uh, and he lost his book deal. And he lost his job at Breitbart. <laughs> that happened while I was out shooting this video. <laughs> Anyway, carry on. What a day this has been. You know, so I've, I've, I've been taking a great deal of pleasure in watching the, the long overdue and well-deserved fall of this absolutely putrid human being. So in your estimation, was Steve just mocking a sexual assault survivor? Did, I didn't see him there. Did he use the his sexual? Did he say anything like uh, mocking his? his no, 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 he, no, no, no. He he didn't. He didn't. He didn't use. He didn't use Milo's sexual assault. He didn't them. use. So but, then the equivalent but, to the Sargon thing would be. If, I'm not. I'm. Hang on. Hang on. I'm. I'm not. I'm not saying is this is this equivalent to Mythcon or Sargon. I'm saying. I'm saying up? was that was that Steve mocking a sexual assault survivor? Well, you're very clearly trying to draw an analogy, right? I mean, or you, you're just, just for no well, reason. No, I, I, I want to, I mean, do, if do my you, rule, do you, here's, here's what I'll say. My rule has been you don't use someone's sexual abuse against them in insult. And I didn't see that here. 
So the equivalent would be if Jess Phillips lost her seat in whatever the, however the fuck their government works, uh, if she had lost her seat and uh, Sargon was overjoyed, uh, no, I would not read that as some gotcha moment where he said, wow, I'm really glad she lost her seat. I wouldn't. I wouldn't care. That's, uh, that's look. I, 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 I wasn't trying to use this as, as a gotcha moment. I, I simply wanted your your comment on it. Now, I, I understand that Steve wasn't using um, wasn't wasn't using Milo's actual sexual assault to mock him, but I, I think he's very clearly mocking. I mean, it was the day before that, that Milo made this statement that he'd been sexually assaulted, and, and yeah, sure, he'd made some some pretty uh, some pretty some pretty shocking comments along with it, um, but. To, to sit there and to, to, to laugh at him and, and ha, 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 he lost his job, he lost his book deal, when the day before he's, he's, just, he's just come out and, and made this statement about being a sexual assault survivor. I think at, at least in, in, Steve's, um, in, in Steve's, you know, moral uh, So you're trying to style. you as like a hypocrisy in his worldview or something? Like you try to, you're trying to say that this is something that, he shouldn't. I'm, so, I'm, I'm saying it. I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying it's, it's pretty rich of someone who, who has, who has just admonished MythCon and, and Sargon. I'm, yeah, I'm saying it's pretty rich. And, and I, I want to know your opinion. Well, I think I give my opinion. I mean, I've been very consistent in that I, I don't think we should use sexual assault as a, as a weapon against somebody. If he had mocked uh, Milo's victimhood uh, in some way, if he had made jokes about what happened to him, uh, I would be right there with you. So uh, I would. That would be wrong. Um, I don't think that anyone, I, I do not think that anyone believes if someone was ever a victim of something, you can never make fun of them. I don't think anyone believes that. I, I, well, no, 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 but I don't think, I don't, I, I don't think that's, uh, that's a, that's a completely fair statement. I don't think this was, I just made this, was, I was just saying. this was, I, don't, I don't think this was Steve make, just making, you know, fun of, of Milo out of, out of the blue, you know, Adelaide. This, 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 this was within 24 hours of him, of him coming out making that statement that he was a sexual assault survivor. This was pretty, pretty fresh on the books. Uh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know uh, what, what you want from me here. I mean, you're, you've given me someone else's thing. I gave you what I think about it. What I think about it is if, you know, yeah, if he had, if he had specifically mocked his, his child abuse, ah, that'd be awful. I'd be right there with you. Um, but Milo is who he is, and uh, he. I don't see why he can't be glad that he lost his platform. Just as I, I actually, in, in inconsistency, uh, if Jess Phillips lost her platform, I wouldn't say it was some, uh, uh, you know, like horrible thing. If if Sargon w reveled in it, I, you know, I, that's I, 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 I see that is consistent from my worldview. I won't speak for Steve. That's my view on it. No, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, one last thing. Do, do you do you recall? Uh, I'm not sure how how closely you follow um jess phillips i certainly don't but i i sort of I mean, looked into her enough to to sort of comment do you recall her, her making a statement that she about knifing her um her the leader of her political party uh do you have that statement i i would i i don't i, d I, I don't i don't think i do but she said i think the statement i'm paraphrasing here she says um she says, "If uh, if you do wrong by this party or, or something like that, I will I will knife you in the front and not the back." Well, so, what's your question? Well, my, my my question was, you know, it would be is there should we should we in any way take that that literally should should there be any condemnation for Jess Phillips making a statement like that if there is to be general condemnation of Sargon for making the statement that he did? Uh, do you do you see those statements as any way equivalent? Do you think a rational, reasonable person would see those statements as equivalent? Do you think that uh, using a very common uh, phrase like oh, "stab him in the back" or 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 something, and she's saying "stab him in the front," so she she wouldn't do it behind his back? Do you think using a very like common parlance in a way that we all do all the time is the same as saying I wouldn't even rape you? Well, no, no. It just it just comes back to a question of intent. We we no no. I don't I don't. I don't. I don't think taking Further. Jess Phillips. Oh, hang on. I don't think taking Jess Phillips' comment there and and saying, oh, she 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 has threatened to to stab the you know the 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 leader of of her political party. I don't think that is reasonable at all because we we understand what Jess Phillips' intent was. Yeah. We understand that her intent wasn't to to stab someone, but we also understand that Sargon's intent is not to rape Jess Phillips. Yeah, but that that wasn't the question. Um, the the important part there is we understand her intent is not to stab him in the back, 
because, or, or what, not to literally stab him, because she uses a very common phrase. I mean, stabbing the back has been used two gazillion times every day with no actual intent to stab everybody. Um, saying I wouldn't even rape you, that's not a common thing. Uh, in polite society, you don't say that. It's not, I mean. Okay, so, so, so if, if, it, if it's not a common thing, if it's not a, if it's not a common. Person would um, not interpret those statements the same. If it's if it's not a common term of phrase, right? Then shouldn't we then shouldn't we listen to his actual words and decipher his message from his actual words? And his actual words were, "I wouldn't even rape you." Yeah, I would. I, I felt like we covered that pretty well earlier. I mean, I, I'm not sure what what more I can say on it other than, um, you know, we all know uh, what he meant, and we certainly know that it, uh, you know how it comes across to most people. And if it doesn't come across that way to you. I, I haven't found a good way to convince somebody of that. I'm, I would I would love to have better vocabulary. I, I think that Patheos article does a pretty good job of it, but I suspect people will still do words lawyering where they say, "Oh no, it's really uh, it's really this." But I, the, all I'll say is that uh, you know, there's a very long list of people who don't think that's acceptable. And yeah. we well, well, look, we we, we 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 did cover this before, but I suppose sure. I, I just I, wa I wanted to to make that comparison to both Steve's. Uh, to Steve's video and to, and to Jess's um, statement, because I, I think, um, yeah, in in relation to Jess, it is a um, it is uh, largely about how we understand intent, and and Sargon's intent certainly wasn't to sexually harass or to or to. Uh, I don't know that. That I don't know. I know his intent wasn't to rape her or wasn't to make her. You know, like I will agree there. I don't know that his intent wasn't to sexually harass when he tweeted sexual harassment at her. He tweeted something that in any office place, if you said it or emailed it to someone, would be sexual harassment. I don't know that you can say his intent wasn't to sexually harass in that case. Yeah, but uh, look, uh, uh, we're going around in circles. We won't cover this ground again, but it, it entirely depends on context. It entirely depends on context. Most likely, if you said that to a to a office office worker, to, a, to an office colleague, most likely it would be sexual harassment. But there is... There is possibility there that that con that you know the, the context could um, could mean that it is not a a, a particularly uh, egregious statement, providing the context is there. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I I mean we can we can I think you're right that we've gone back and forth on it. We can let the listeners decide for themselves. I suppose I, there's nothing more. I don't think there's anything more I can say on that. Sure. Um, last question: Do you think uh, do you think Sargon is a terrible, horrible guy? Um, I mean, we can get into a broad philosophical discussion on what it means to be. Oh, a I'm just asking. I'm just, I'm just asking. Easy, easy I would imagine that in his interpersonal life, uh, I bet you, I, I, you know, I don't know anything about him. I would be, you know, I have no uh, information whatsoever to go by. Excuse me, on his uh, interpersonal life. Um, so I, I won't make a claim either way. But I, if. If he, uh, if 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 I were to witness him, I, you know, I would not be surprised to find that he was perfectly cordial in his everyday life. That that would that would be fine, uh, you know, whatever. Um, he could be, could not be. I don't care. What I care about is what people say and do, and and how it affects people. Um, that's sure. what I care about, and and I I don't, you know, I I don't. It's kind of weird, you know. I, I don't know if you're referencing this explicitly, but he did give me the nice guy routine, and and you know, I, I, I it's something kind of you gave me in your email a little bit too, you know, like the I'm just what, a dude. What do, you, what do you what do you mean? What what do you think? Do you think uh, do you think that 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 I I, I made? Let me just uh, ask you. I, well, I just want to. I I I wonder why you have that impulse, you know, like do you, because. Um, it's not an impulse what, I have. What, what, I what impulse? What impulse? What are you talking about? Well, I, I don't personally. I know you, you know you're in you're in favor of doing gotcha recordings that aren't released and playing them, but I, I'm not in favor of. Is it okay if I mention what you said in your email to me or like? Yeah, I'm absolutely. Not, well, I mean, you you told me like, uh, hey, I'm a normal guy. Like, I you gave me. I think you sent me a picture. You said I'm in my everyday life. I do such and such. Uh, just yeah. a regular human, and um. I just wonder, I guess, where that impulse comes from. And I do think it may be, uh, if I were to hazard a guess, and this is just me speculating, um, I think that it might be coming from a simu similar place in both you and Sargon, where Sargon tried to get, Carl tried to give me the I'm a nice guy routine backstage, um, w which is, I think you know, I think you might know on some level that what uh, some of what you do is pretty socially messed up. 
And some so, of what- so hang, on, hang on a sec. So, so what is it that I do that is socially messed up? Now, I, ga- I, ga- I gave you this supposed nice guy routine because I had contacted you before. I'd previously contacted you and asked you a very, very, very straightforward and civil question. You fucking ignored me. And then you brought it up on a podcast and you, you called it MRA apologetics. So you had already, you had already shown me that you were completely fucking triggered by the very fact that I that I would even contact someone of my ilk would even fucking contact you, Thomas. Right? That's uh, why I gave you the nice guy routine because you were being a complete pussy about it. Uh, okay. I mean, I, I didn't. I, I I I don't know that you're fairly characterizing how I brought it up. I I didn't know you. No 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 no. no. In in your podcast with Christy Winters, uh-huh. you 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 said you said this bearing guy. He emailed me and and he gave me the, the typical MRA apologetics. And yeah, I, did, I asked you I asked you a question in in my email, Thomas. And and, sure. the, and the way you characterized me told me told me that you believed I was some fucking monk. And, and by the things that, that Christy told you, that, that you said, oh, yeah, you know, this Barry, he must be fucking terrible. What a fucking bad guy. Yeah. It was clear that you thought I was some kind of fucking monster. So I think it's appropriate to say, hey, Thomas, look, I'm not such a bad guy. I am a normal person. Come and have a chat with me. What the fuck is wrong with that? Uh, I, 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 uh, you know, if, you, if that's where you're coming from with it, and again, that's why I said several times I'm, I'm speculating, giving my opinion. Sounds like my opinion might be wrong. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if that's where you're coming from with it, with where you thought I was insulting you. When I said typical MRA argument. Well, you, 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 had just, you had just published, uh, you had just published a podcast where I'm, I, where I'm severely, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm slandered in it. You know, I, I go after 14 year old f- bedroom feminists and, and pause and scream at them. Are you fucking serious? And then, uh, and you wonder, you wonder why I would, you know, I'd be, I'd be in my, within my rights to, to, to email you and say, Hey Thomas, fuck you. You fucking lying cunt. You sniveling lying fucking prick. You fucking it. You amend what you said cunt. I'd be, I'd have every right to do that. I didn't do that. I emailed you saying, "Hey Thomas, I'm an I, I, I'm a nice guy. Why don't you come and have a chat?" And 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 and, and that's something you, you're going to bring up and criticize. This to the the lie that you told on your stream about me having set up a voicemail and the way you react to the, to that when I tried oh. to. Oh. Say, I mean, come on, Thomas. So, well, seriously, you, you're you're going to get hung up about it. You're going to get hung up about Thomas. 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 On your podcast, it it, it it was said that I that I purposefully target fourteen year old girls and scream abuse at them. That is in no way comparable to to to, to me having the the facts wrong about when you set up a, a voicemail. Are you serious? No, well, uh, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to investigate that claim and I will issue a full apology on my podcast if it was wrong. Okay. Uh, I haven't looked into. Well, it. I don't look, 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 I'm, I'm. Excuse me for getting a little bit heated then, but, but I, I think that was just. That's just such a ridiculous fucking thing thing to say. You, 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 you think that the reason that I was giving you the nice guy routine in my email is is because I, I know some of the things I do is socially fucked up. Come on, that's. A, well, that that, okay. that, that annoys you know, me so much. That statement. You you, you, oh, you knew fair. nothing about me, Thomas. Uh, well, I again, I I did qualify it several times, saying this is my guess and my opinion. I was allowing you the chance to you know get say that I was wrong. So I I mean, come on, man. I just offered an opinion, but but sure, okay, fine. I mean, I mean, if that's the reason, and then the only thing, other thing I wanted to say is I didn't. If I said MRA argument, that you seem to take that as I was saying you're an awful human. Um, but I'm not. I mean. There, no, there no, 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 no. I take that as uh, well. Well, yeah, I, I do. I, I do take that as you saying awful human. Now, I don't think MRAs are, are necessarily yeah. awful. I think that you do, and I think that Christy Winters does. And, and so, when no, you said, no, no, "Oh, it was a typical, it was a typical MRA argument," and Christy said, "Oh, you, yeah, that's yeah, an opinion you have that's wrong. That's an opinion you have about my opinion on what I meant that I can tell you is wrong." So. Uh, I'm so, so you, when you when you said it was typical MRA apologetics, was that a, was that were you complimenting me? No, I wasn't complimenting you, but I was making no judgment on your character. I'm saying it is a, and I've heard a lot from the um, people who come at me with the, a lot of this, you know, like MRA red pill arguments, and I don't find them convincing. But I didn't say you were a horrible human. Like I just said, when when you your argument of no, no, no Christy did, and, and you you completely you platformed and completely agreed with it, without 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 without, 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 without knowing without knowing. 
Hey, Baron, huh? I, owe, I owe you this. I will go back, see what was said. I will evaluate it for myself. I'll make a statement about it. I owe you that. So I apologize. I apologize. Okay. Okay. I, I owe you. Well, look, I, look, 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 as I said, ex, ex, excuse me for, for for getting a little bit heated there. I, I don't like getting getting heated at people because that's not what I do, Thomas. Um, but anyway, look, I, I think uh, I think if we if we go further, we'll start going around in, in further. Uh, well, we'll okay, but I, I, I do feel like you 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 ranted a lot at me, and I didn't get a, a much of a chance to to respond. Um, okay, I, okay. I want to say I, where you're coming from uh, makes sense. Like if if that if that was why you said that. Um, I apologize for misinterpreting that. I'm sorry. I, I misinterpreted okay. it. My opinion was wrong. And uh, I didn't mean MRA as you're a bad person. I meant MRA is that it, it is like a, a branch of argumentation that tends to be very similar. It tends to be a bunch of um, what about re in my opinion. Uh, but but we, that's, we can leave that for another day. Um, I, I do think um, what I find so interesting, and I, and I don't put you in this uh, as much as, as Carl I did find it interesting that he tried to nice guy routine me before the thing, um, because I it's not like I did that to him, you know. Like I don't, I don't, I don't know what that impulse is. So it sounds like I lumped you in with him, and I shouldn't have. But I'm still interested in what that impulse was for him to try to say that, and and, and I can't help but wonder if it's because because so many of the things that are said uh, on YouTube, no one would ever say in a million years to an actual human in everyday conversation, and. and I just find that interesting because uh, I actually, it, most things I say on my podcast, if not every single thing, I would easily say to a person in real life. I would stand by. Um, well, I, think you're, I think you're sort of saying that without, uh, without really, really uh, knowing that for a fact. Now, um, okay. for, 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 the, for the record, I, I, would, I would absolutely proudly uh, be lumped in with, with Sargon Vakata. I, I, uh, I think he does a great job. Okay, fair enough. Well, um, yeah, so sorry for that misunderstanding. I, you know, it, it does seem to, to have made you very angry, and I apologize for that. I, I think. No, that's all right. Look, look Tom, uh, we'll, we'll end it here, but I, I, uh, I genuinely thank you for, for coming on. I, I really I really did enjoy the chat. I think it was it was worthwhile to, to have the chat, and um, look, uh, I, I hope we can do it again. I would, I would be honored. Uh, thank you for having me on, and thank you for... Uh, and you know, I thank you for your patient email because you you mentioned you didn't react that way, uh, and I thank you for that. You know, that's that's one of the that's the reason I came on because you struck me as someone who wanted to have a dialogue, and uh, we we had a dialogue. And I, I think it was important. I think, I think I think it was good. I I don't, I don't know how your your audience will react. I I don't know, but um, you know, thank you. I appreciate the chance. No, all, all the best, man. It was it was lovely to chat and uh, and good to meet you. All righty. Better. Cheers. Okay, um, so uh, Thomas has dropped off. I'll I'll go back and I'll read um, I'll read uh, some of the super chats uh, from the last uh, from the last live stream. Just a sec. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Uh, um, I, I, I apologize a lot a lot of these are, are, are questions I suppose that were were directed at, at well Thomas or myself but obviously we can't we can't do anything about the ones directed at Thomas but I will I will read them anyway um, so Nicholas uh, Daly says uh, why do you think we are all terrible human beings Thomas uh, we just ask a lot of uh, a lot of questions and want to have a meaningful discussion you realize we are a product of our education uh, judge a person by their character and such that's fair enough. Uh, Merck says, one thing I told Thomas after the party is uh, is that if he could reach one person uh, to his point of view, it would, uh, what? I think I think he means if he could uh, uh, sort of bring one person across to his point of view, uh, it would it would have been a win. Uh, don't make me regret it. Um, faithless, faithless being says, ask him if, uh, if he's embarrassed about how he acted at the con. Please and thank you. Um, I think I think he he clearly is embarrassed about how he acted at the con. I mean, to, to, I should have asked him, but to my understanding, um, Thomas hasn't hasn't watched um, hasn't watched the, the video of it. Um, Jason versus Jason says, uh, "How how are you talking to this zombie? Uh, thought Sargon already killed this man." Um, String Jester says. <laughs> says yeah I molest guitars <laughs> uh, James uh, James Milanese says 
Uh, who cares about a voicemail? What is the point of getting upset over something so trivial? Yeah, that's that's exactly what I thought. I mean, when a voicemail was set up, I mean, who cares? A, a voicemail was was there for the for the purpose of taking taking messages about MythCon and other things and other things. It was created at an, at an earlier date. It was about you know MythCon messages and other messages, but you know, I, I think that was pretty pretty trivial. Uh, Merck says he got shouted down and jeered at uh, because that's not what he said or how he worded it. I'm sorry, I, I, I obviously don't know the context. Uh, James again says in this country everyone has the same freedoms, but affirmative action definitely gives a clear advantage to non whites. That's how they're not equal. Yeah, spot on. Uh, String Jester says he's right, we need more white actors in Asian cinema. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, the crazy uh, Kit Kitchen says, ask him uh, if he would ever go to a non-white majority country and whine about white people that aren't re represented enough. That's a good point. It's a really good point. Move to move to China and and start start speaking about um, white discrimination. Uh, Will says, uh, my question about women getting equal representation is, uh, can men implement a policy that benefits men and women equally, or even benefits, uh, or, or, or even benefits only women? Hang on a second. So my, my question about women getting equal representation is, can men implement a policy that benefits men and women equally, or even benefits women? Uh, well, yeah, I, th I think there's plenty of policies that, that, that do benefit only women. Um, and, and and the the former question is, can can we implement policy that benefits men and women? Well, ideally, that's yeah, that's what all policy should be. Um, Andy says, uh, okay, uh, then what is his thoughts on men getting harsher sentences than women? That's a good question. Um, Destiny Killer says, what do you think? Uh, what do you think of women that get off? Uh, more lightly on the exact same crime uh, than men. Yeah, similar question. It's a good question. Uh, Trev Trev Mill says uh, Thomas religion is being Tom Thomas's religion is being an SJW. He he argues like Ray Comfort. Uh, Merck says people aren't statistics. Thomas uh, Will Will again says can we can we walk through this study? Uh, it wasn't something like the majority of whites were arrested in the suburbs where they stand out. What can we talk through this study? It wasn't something like the the majority of whites were arrested in suburbs that they where they stand out with. Okay, yeah, I think that's a con I'm missing the context. I apologise. Uh, Moon Chicken Production says um, the problem is he wants to solve detailed problems with broad stroke solutions. His statement on freedom in, on freedom is evidence of this. That's a good point. Um, X X. Z Zamika or Zamaica, so something says uh, uh, Top Nixon, John John en en Enrichman. What side admitted the drug war was to disrupt the black community? Okay, The Guardian says. Uh, so how do you reconcile seven percent of the population committing fifty two percent of the murders in the U.S.? That's a good question. Uh, how is racism to blame for that? Will you just ignore it? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I can't just ignore it. But um, that, that is that's a that is a good point. Um, I mean, we can't. I mean, yeah. How how do we expect? Or how how, do, how does America expect to um, to fix the the the, the you know, incarceration numbers? Um, you know, is it is it a, are we supposed to ignore crime? It's yeah, it's it's a funny question that I, I think is a bit nonsensical. Um, the question of of you know looking at the the incarceration numbers and saying is 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 this fair? Well, if they committed a crime, yeah, it, it, it probably is fair that they were prosecuted for that crime. Uh, the Minuteman says I was at MythCon fifth row VIP. Had my friend beside me who was anti Sargon. He cheered for he cheered for Sargon and after all your hostile jeers. Uh, oh, and only same and only same five hecklers who were in the first, third and fifth row. Okay, so he's saying that there was there was a small group of hecklers and they were the, the same ones uh, every time. 
James says, uh, are you saying America is more racist uh, than it was during during Tus Tuskegee? I don't know what that is. Bearing this is way too expensive to speak. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Um, Carl says, uh, this grievance culture uh, is the new... I don't even fucking... New... Eh, eh, uh, Oedipus, Oedipus <laughs> complex. Damned if you, damned if you go one way or another. The rule itself uh, must never be wrong, though. Go fuck yourself. Uh, Merck says, "Hi, minute man. First, first row, big bald guy. <laughs> Merck's a big bald guy with uh, with some pretty fucking pretty big guns. He showed me one of his guns once. He's got a fucking massive um, armor piercing gun." Uh, Mitch says, "Tom, I." <laughs> <laughs> Mitch it says, Tom, I wouldn't even rape you. <laughs> um, uh, Bla Blaze, Blaze it in says, Tom, <laughs> says, Tom, I would rape you. Come here, big boy. <laughs> uh, big guy says, ascribing meaning without evidence. Typical leftist. Uh, Will says, um, uh, I would cheer. It wasn't the words. It was the message. I don't care what offends you. Yep. Agreed. Um, Alicia Wilson says, I'm a sexual, uh, a, 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 I'm a, a, she says, she says I'm a sexually victim and I think sexual assault victim and rape survivor. Um, I'm okay with, uh, dragon's comment. Uh, I assume that's Sargon's comment. I won't let my experience uh, rule my life. Yep, fair enough. Will says, uh, "Fuck, I can't." <laughs> Will says, "Fuck, I can't afford this." He wasn't intending to hurt her, uh, and he didn't. He was making a point about subjectivity and censorship. That, that's exactly right. Hader says his intention was to pull a reaction out of the SJW crowd. Uh, he said this non-threat will come across as a threat and sexual harassment to the SJW crowd. It was to mess with the masses, not her. Yeah, exactly. Um, the, well, just going back on that, I, I think uh, I think it was um, yeah, it was it was a bit of a trap to to see if uh, if if Jess Phillips herself would um, would take uh, his his tweet as a threat and to get on the news and and you know claim victimhood about it, which is exactly what she did. She she walked into the trap. Um, uh, the Minuteman says, so he only cares about opinions of people he agrees with while ignoring people he doesn't as unimportant. Uh, that's how it's coming across. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, Maxwell Bear says, no one cares about your morals, loser fag. <laughs> um, same guy says, ask, ask Thomas where he went to... <laughs> ask, Thomas where he, <laughs> ask Thomas where he went to seminary. <laughs> I assume I assume he went to seminary or some religious school since uh, since he has moral insights. The rest of us don't. Uh, James says, "Wow, well, the difference is that giving someone a mic reaches less people than posting to the internet." Um, Maxwell Bear says, "Dan advocated violence, while Sargon did not." Yeah, that's a good point, and that's uh, that's a point I think I was leading to that I didn't quite get to. Um, Dan Errol was was advocating that people get hurt. Uh, Sargon wasn't. Sargon might have made a, an, an offensive comment. Uh, you know, offensive depending on on who you are. But yeah, you know, he certainly wasn't saying that um, that anyone should be should be hurt in any way. Um, uh, Maxwell also says uh, Thomas. Thomas called what Sargon said a rape threat on stage. He, he did actually, he did too. Um, it's on video, stop lying. Also, why does Thomas talk with an enemy of free speech like Shives? Mm. Destiny Killer says, uh, so platforming a person who advocates for assault is better than someone using mean words. Your buddy Shives there wants to ban everybody that doesn't agree with him. Those sound like Nazi ideals to me. Yeah, I agree. James says, oh, my God, this is insanity. Uh, it would be the same as if a woman ran around always saying, I have, I have the best pussy, and after a while, you got sick of hearing it. Uh, so 
so you go up to her and say, oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even fuck you with his dick <laughs> and point at a homeless man on the street. <laughs> that's, yeah, I like that. That's, that's fair. Um, Will says, um, uh, so what are your solutions to police discrimination? I can make assumptions based on, I can make assumptions based on your past solutions, but I could be wrong. Uh, James uh, says the stream is breaking up again. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's uh, that's all the the super chats. Um, but yeah, there was some there was some funny comments. Uh, that that fucking one about the, about what if Saigon was in it was in a cage on stage. <laughs> oh fuck it, that was a fucking funny comment. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, anyway, um, look. Thanks everyone for joining. What I, what I might do is um, is uh, is download these two streams and and just sort of strap them together so it's so it's one video and and we don't get the the, the fuck up at the end of the at the end of the first stream. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, thanks for to, for joining. We've got. I've got 809 people watching, which is fucking weird because I'm, I'm sitting in my, my my studio talking to myself. It, just, it seems odd. Um, thanks for joining. And uh, look, thanks for, for to, to Thomas for, for joining. I, I, as I said, I think he was a good sport for doing it. He didn't have to do it. And uh, I do hope to, to have arguments with him in the, in the future because I, I do enjoy arguing. And um, I, I think uh, a lot of his positions are positions that should be argued against because they're quite frankly, a little bit silly. Anyway, thanks again. See ya.